Hello, my name is uh, Malema and I'm a blockchain developer, also an ambassador of Web3.js. Welcome to today's tutorials where I will walk you through the process of creating and sending a legacy transaction on the Ethereum blockchain using Web3.js. So the transaction refers to Ethereum original transaction format known as transaction type zero. So why legacy transaction? So while newer version of transaction type of a benefit like flexible is flexible why legacy transaction while newer transaction type of a benefit like flexible transaction fee the transaction are still crucial for interacting with contract deploy before the update or for compatibility with older ethereum network this is the reason why it is good for you as a blockchain developer when building a transaction type you need to understand what legacy transaction is. So let's dive in. Into a code. So first thing we need to install our um, node package, which is web3.js. We do uh, npm i web3. So we when we click install because i've already installed this so there's no point uh, uh to redo it again so yeah so after that one then we come here to check our package we can see we've already installed our 3.js which is uh version 4.11.1 and then we have set our start to be not not uh, transaction.js and then we do uh, to be in the main right then type is module and then version of this uh, project is version 1.0.0 and the project name is C transaction so um, let's dive into this code so now here we are here is uh, we imported the um, our 3.js library which is the popular javascript library for interacting with ethereum blockchain then um, we after that one we do and then we create an instance here to call it cons web3 is called to new web3 rpc so in this rpc so we are replacing this with our rpc provider and we can get it from the uh, uh we can get it from here and get it from the alchemy yeah yes so yeah then um so this uh enable us to interact with the ethereum blockchain and node right so by communicating with uh, this so the rpc node is essentially a gateway to the ethereum network by connecting the url where now uh, we're able to send and receive data from the blockchain including creating and sending the transaction so next what we did is um we look at this function and we do an, an async here to the legacy this uh, function is responsible for creating and sending the legacy transaction look at it it's um it helps us to create and send the legacy transaction uh by connecting it with the ethereum wallet here through this private key so um what i will be doing is uh yeah i have okay yeah i have it here in the open my metamax go to account then open the private key so we replace this private key and we start with zero okay so this is to tell you that we are communicating with ethereum 
transaction. So first we add the um, wallet to our Web3 instance using the private key. Uh, we make sure to replace the private key. That's why we are replacing it here, right, uh, with the actual. So this allow us to sign, send transaction on the Ethereum network. It's very important to note this to have some. So um, you can see we have we need to have some Cephalian, uh, uh token in this account to be able to do that. Then. So this is like uh, our transaction. So next, what we are doing is um, we are defining all our transaction, the transaction detail. By defining this transaction detail, first we do it a, a sender, that a sender which is const sender here, which is const sender equal to wallet zero, and then uh, recipient which is. Uh, wallet here so here recipient address will replace it with the recipient address okay yeah this is the recipient address we are using we we'll replace it with this recipient address um, so then we um, represent the value of the uh, to be one way, which is the minimum, which is the smallest unit of Ethereum um, to do. But you can decide to adjust it to your own use the way you want it. Then we do a nonce for for the, the transaction. The nonce is a unique number that represents the number of transactions sent from this address it helped us to ensure that our process are in order then um yeah so there's an error here we do a con uh, const to gas which is the minimum gas uh, which is the standard minimum gas unit gas fee unit here so we we'll call it and then we we'll do um we we'll do a const gas price to help us call the gas price for this right gas price which is the price of the dynamic gas price yeah so when we set uh, the type to be zero in the for legacy purposely we set it to be zero here look at it so we do a cost transaction from sender to the recipient value known as gas and then the gas price so the type to be zero in legacy transaction you need to set it to be zero. Then after that, we do a const transaction recipient and sending this, and then we do a cons. So now we want to console lock and then get our transaction hash on this. So um, let me see. So what we need to do, we do not transaction. .js. Our transaction um, hash here by this, so you can see. So I made a change. I did not save it, so that was why it was uh, looking at that. So yeah, so you can see this is our new transaction hash for this. So um, basically, that's what we are do going to be doing. So in this. Uh, project basically um you can see uh, we uh, i was able to, to walk you through this simple ethereum transaction using the web 3 js so in this um uh, when we were able to send a transaction to the ethereum network especially what we do using the older version of the format and then we found out that we're able to call in and then fetch in our transaction hash and I believe if you are follow or follow through this uh, uh, code, you will be able to appeal your own and you can do more. So don't forget to follow us on our uh, YouTube channel and follow us on our YouTube, Twitter handle at what 3 Thank you very much.